Good morning, everybody. This is K. Palakrishna Pasinki. We are discussing about the topic called as subject called as marketing management. In the marketing management, we are discussing about the topic which is called as personal selling. Many people confuse personal selling with direct marketing. Direct marketing is a process of conveying the goods from the manufacturer to the ultimate user without any intermediaries. This is called as zero level distribution. But personal selling is a process in which the person sales force approaches our door, he gives the sales presentation, convinces us, sells the product to us, takes the payment, and retrieves back to his place. This is the actual difference between personal selling and advertising. In this class, we will have a complete analysis regarding what do you mean by personal selling and what are the tools of personal selling, what are the advantages of personal selling, benefits, disadvantages, and other things. Apart from this, we also know what are the qualities that the personal sales force need to have. What are the features of personal selling? Uh, the main feature of personal selling is that we will have a direct interaction with the personal sales force or the salesman who comes to our door. Here, the communication will not be one way, but it will be two way exchange our views with him. There will be a better response. All your queries will be solved immediately without any hurry. You can sit in your house, there will be a convenience for you. You can maintain some sort of relationship with the, the salesperson. So if you like the product, visit the store, we visit you again. He also tries to convince to the maximum extent uh, to you completely. What are the qualities of good sales? Person sales goods comes to you. What are the qualities? Physical qualities. You must have a pleasant appearance. You must have good communication. You must have social qualities, means how to deal with the people must be clearly know. You must understand the social uh, qualities of the people, how the people can be molded well. You must know about the attitudes, perceptions, personalities, and other mental qualities. Apart from this, you must also know what are the technical qualities like usage of the product and many other things. Yes, first and the foremost thing that he requires is you must require the memory and observation. He must know which house he is going for, he must know which product he is dealing with. You must know the working of it. You must memorize all the information regarding the product. You must be honest and you must not conceal anything. You must reveal all the factual information. Next, uh, you must have a good character. You must not cheat others. You must be loyal. You must be dependable. That is, everyone must trust him. And you must also does not talk about the negatives regarding the product, but you must talk only about that. Positives regarding the product. Next, you must have a build as an establish a trust, confidence among the people. What's the role of personal selling? What's the role of personal selling? Personal selling is important to the business people or to the businessmen. What sort of importance does it have? It helps to promote the product, it helps to advertise the product, it helps to increase the sales of the product. It is a flexible tool. Why we say that it is a flexible tool? It's a flexible tool because entire things can be modified, assessed, estimated clearly. And the wastage of efforts may be minimized. Means uh, if we appoint a sales force, he will be given a target. If he fulfills the target, the commission will be given. So there is no need to bother about sales if person sales force are appointed. Next, he must he will pull directly since the target is given, he will continuously monitor and drag the customer attention towards it. <coughs> Next, uh, business people can maintain, sustain relationships, everlasting bondage 
with the customers. They may also know what are the needs of the customers. They may also know what are the expectations of the customers, what are the market conditions, etc. It is very effective to introduce a new product. It is the best tool to, uh, to uh, introduce a new product. Next, it is also important to the customers because customers may not know from the house. They can have a visible presentation. If they want the product, if they need the product, if they are satisfied with the product, then only they can purchase them. Next, it also helps to identify the means uh, the customer needs, mindset, etc. need can be identified easily. Next, uh, all the needs, etc. or the market information can be directly sent to the sales business people by using the sales selling. Next, apart from this, uh, the advisor is also pro provided by the personal sales force regarding the implement of the product in future point of time. We can also use the customers Next one is it is also personal selling is also important important for the society. What sort of importance does it has? It converts the prospects into users. It converts the prospect to inquiries into users. Next, it creates employment with uh, hundreds of people at a time who will move across the streets to uh, touch each door and try to sell the product. It is a wonderful career for those people who are less educated, but those people who want to establish an everlasting career in the marketing area. There is a mobility of salesperson. The salesperson move from one place to the other, one street to the other, communicate the prospects of the company and publicize the company. If the product is really good, satisfied, standardized, then it can be commercialized in the later point of time. In this class, we have discussed what do you mean by personal selling, what are the qualities of a personal sales force, and what is the importance of personal sales for personal selling. Here we have been why, why is it important to business enterprises, why is it important to the business customers, and why is it important to the society. Thank you very much.